Well, hello, everyone. Um, welcome to another viewer question and answer. Um, so, so this video is um, uh, in response to a viewer question about um, this person is experiencing vibration in the head um, every morning. And it seems to be, um, I don't know if it's problematic, but they were wondering if there's anything that, that, that they can do to reduce this or make it go away. Um, let me see, what, where do I wanna start? The first thing I wanna say is to that viewer who may be watching, um, if what I tell you, first of all, of course, always, 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 always follow your own intuition. And of course, and um, if what I say in this video is like completely shocking and doesn't resonate at all, then, then that was the whole point of you asking the question. Oftentimes when we are shocked at the response and we don't resonate is because, um, well, I guess there are two reasons, like, like I was completely wrong, which is absolutely 100% possible, or that the purpose of you being feeling compelled to ask a question and to get the answer that felt completely wrong is so that you follow your own guidance. Because in that case, when you're like shocked about the answer, then you already knew the answer. And so, yeah, so it's about teaching you to trust yourself. So, um, yeah, for this person, I wanted to, you know, I, I was, I had made an assumption that, of course, this person is in Kundalini process and Kundalini is up there doing her thing and, and activating brain centers. And I was thinking to myself, there's probably, you, you don't really want to do anything about it because it's a good thing. And that's, sort of kind of the answer that I got. The, the answer that I got is just like so simple. Like, I think you already know the answer. Um, yeah, the bottom line is um, you are too ungrounded. Um, but let me just go, let me look at some of the questions. I asked a lot of questions, two pages worth of questions. Um, and I couldn't really get a real direct answer but you'll all, you, if this resonates with you, you, you will know what to do and what the, the, the issue is. So first of all, my first question is, is this person really in active, active Kundalini process? Ding, ding, ding. So that's a confirmation. Um, that's a hot yes, by the way. Um, can she do something? I'm skipping to all the relevant questions. Can she do something to alleviate the vibrations in the head? Yes. I did ask if this was, I asked several questions regarding Kundalini. Is it because it's a diver, diverted thing? Is Kundalini in the head? Is Kundalini working on brain centers? Blah, 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 blah. What's happening in your head is not exactly Kundalini or a result of direct action of kundalini. I mean, everything that happens in our lives is basically kundalini because kundalini is your consciousness. Um, however, what's happening for you in the head is not directly linked to kundalini. Yeah, but it is the result of a spiritual process going on. Um, yeah, so where do I want to go from here? Uh, is the vibration due to being ungrounded? Ding, ding, ding. Okay, hot yes. Um, what things can this person do? Is it like deep breathing? Is it food? Is it some practice? No, 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 no. And then it hit me. Oh, does this person just need more physical activity? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> um, does this person need to get off the computer? <laughs> I got a warm yes. So I don't, you know, when I get a warm yes, it's a yes, but with like, so you need to know so much more. So I kind of say it's a warm yes, but maybe not, not a complete answer, okay? So that may be contributing that there might be a little bit too much computer work. Um, you need a little bit more physical activity. Okay, let me move on, let's see. I was asking all kinds of different questions. So. And, I, and then I wanted to know, what is the cause? If it's not directly linked to Kundalini, what is the cause of the um, vibration in the head? And it's a really good cause. 
uh, it's the higher self. Is it the higher self developing its connection? Yes. Now that's a solid yes. I mean, you know, you, you know enough, you can move forward. You don't have that ding, 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 hot yes, but it's a solid yes. It says, you know enough, you don't need to know more. Okay. Um, I, I did ask, are, are the vibrations anything to be concerned about? Uh, or the vibes are really nothing to, vibrations are really nothing to be concerned about. Yes. Um, they may be an annoyance to you, but it's really not anything. Uh, I'm, I'm, in order to lessen them, you you need to be more grounded and, and physical activity will do that. But ultimately, nothing to be concerned about because it's a really good thing. Your higher self, you're developing the Anakarana, I believe that's what it is. That's the channel and connection to your higher self, which is the causal body, your soul. So that's a really good process that's going on. However, what I discovered, and this is where, you know, follow your own intuition, I may be completely wrong about this, is that it seems like um, while this process is going on, um, you or something in your environment is adding to the intensity of the vibration or your ungroundedness, okay? Let me see here. Mm. Something in your environment is adding to the vibrations. Ding, ding, ding. Is it in your physical environment? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> is it a person? And I get like a warm yes, so at least it's a human being. Is it a thing? No. Household, something in the household? No. Um, is it maybe a group mm, warm? Yes. Is it something to do with using energy inappropriately warm? Yes. Um, it's, it's something about the person is knowingly doing it. Ding, ding, ding needs to, does she need to say no, or does this person need to say no to whatever is going on. Like, I, I think this person, <laughs> let's see, have what we need. Yes. So what I was sensing is that the viewer who's asking the question kind of knows, you know what's going on and maybe you're doing a practice or in a group practice, um, perhaps something like a meditation or doing a practice that's trying to, you're trying to, go to other realms or um, enhance energy in your body, or I don't know, some practice that is while you're this other thing that is going on, this, the higher self is trying to connect and you're doing this other practice and another, maybe you're doing it with another person. And I think you know about it. I don't know what this sounds so weird. Um, that it is increasing this really ungrounded energies. Like maybe you're working at higher realms, trying to pull in as much source energy as possible or utilizing some manifestation techniques. And it's all up here. And maybe you're doing your work. Maybe you're doing like astral projecting and uh, maybe that's creating the, the higher vibes more intense vibes in the morning. I don't really, I, I don't really know because I think you already know, and it wasn't necessary for me to get all these details, but the way to help it out is just, it's causing you to be ungrounded. All of your attention and awareness is up here being pulled up there along with the activity of your higher self making this connection. And it's all just buzzing, buzzing. And of course it's going to be more intense in the morning because you know as we sleep a lot of, as you know a lot of work happens when we're sleeping um so that because your uh, normal waking consciousness of the personality is out of the way lots of work can happen but if you're doing other activities that are adding to this and or doing astral travel or something working in other realms wow, that's a lot of stuff going on and that's why physical activity, all of this needs to ground. And I would say more attention down into the body, pull it down, pull it down. I think that might help. Now, if none of that resonates, then uh, I guarantee you already know the answer. 
okay? And so while you are in active Kundalini process and while it is not, she's not up there activating brain centers, however, you would not be developing this higher self connection had had she not be actively instigating all of this connection. So it's not directly Kundalini, it's indirectly Kundalini pulling in this connection and creating um, yeah, a, a clearer channel to you and your higher self so that you eventually, when she rises up past the throat, past the makra point, then you will be able to work at the causal body level, meaning working on the issues, the issues, yeah, the samskaras, the patterns that are still embedded in your soul, higher self, soul, causal body, all the same. And that's, that's dark night of the soul. That's when the soul begins to disintegrate. Okay. That's all Kundalini uh, at Kundalini's behest. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. I hope it resonates. But if not, then you already know the answer. <laughs> okay, let's stop recording and see you next time.